Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the registered nurse turned CEO of a multi-million dollar natural hair care brand. Yes, honey, okay. one of my favorites. Yes. Okay, now sharing insight into her secret sauce to success. Please welcome CEO of Myel Organics, Monique Rodriguez. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Monique, you look absolutely amazing. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So, so pretty. Do you ladies. Oh. Everyone here looks amazing. So Thank you've you. been down here. You're a Sister Circle favorite down here. Yes. And one and of my favorites. happy to be back. Yes, yes. <laughs> and one of my favorites because I love my own products. You already Thank know. You. I, I, I use all of the stuff, especially the cleansing and shampoo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you spent eight years as a nurse. Mm -hmm. But then something tragic happened in your life that led you to start your own business. Talk to us about what, um, what that was to prompt you to start your own business. Yes, yeah, so obviously it was a very painful situation, but that painful situation led me to my purpose, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, working as a nurse for eight years, I went to school for nursing because that's what my mom told me to do. Mm -hmm. So where I'm from, I felt like I was in a box. You know, I wasn't exposed to women entrepreneurs. I wasn't exposed to black owned businesses growing up. I was exposed to women that worked hard to provide for their families. And my mom worked at a hospital for like 40 something years. Like she just recently retired and just going with the motions and seeing her work for a place for so long, but your income only goes to a certain level, yes, you're yes. On, you're gonna tap out and you're still not happy. And seeing like, you know, my mom and then my grandmother, they're all living off their pensions. And I felt like that wasn't a life that I wanted. Like yes, I wanted yes. to take control of, over my destiny. And I knew ever since I was younger that I wanted to own a business. Like mm -hmm. I used to envision myself walking around with a briefcase when I was a little girl. Um, but I didn't think that I could attain that. So, you know, I just decided after eight years that I was fed up, you know, I went through um, the tragic situation of losing my son and had to go back to work where I was already miserable. And I decided that, you know, God, I know this, there's a bigger purpose for me. And I decided to step out on faith and, you know, do something that I love. And I took to social media as actually an outlet. So mm -hmm, it wasn't mm -hmm. intent, intended to start a product. I was really just talking about my passion and that was hair care. Mm. Well, you know, we really pushed multiple streams of income here at Social, yes. at Sister Circle. And, you know, one question I have for you is while you were in nursing for those eight years and knew, yes. knew, knowing that hair care was your passion, did you start trying to develop your own hair care products while you were nursing? Yes, I was still working as a nurse because, mm -hmm. you know, when you have faith, you're supposed to have wisdom. So yes. he didn't say, like, go quit your job and try to start this business. Right. I still had to be smart. Yeah. And what I saw was growth, which led me to understand that, okay, if I really want this to grow, I got to focus on this 100%. And also, as a nurse, you're dealing with people's lives. Yes. So I didn't want to sacrifice you know, giving the wrong medication because I'm focused over over here on my business. So, you know, I was still working and I worked for six months. And what I do believe in is manifestation. Mm -hmm. So I typed out my resignation letter mm. when I first started. Didn't give it to my boss yet until like I saw growth and six months later, you know, I decided to finally turn in that resignation letter. But I wrote that letter back in May when I first started. Wow, mm. that's amazing. Yeah. So you are in 100, um, 100,000 major retailers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's first of all. Praise God, it's Press nothing but God. God. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> And, 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 and the product, I mean, and there's so many natural hair care products. So to be able to do that in such a competitive market, first of all, we commend you. And second of Thank all, you. you are now, you now have a new, um, a new a place to, uh, uh, what is it? A warehouse. warehouse. That's yes. the word. <laughs> Child. You now have a new warehouse yes. for Myel. Congratulations on that. Thank Look you. At that. Thank you. What have you I'm done um, throughout the course of this journey to separate yourself from all the different hair care products? Because what I've done is I'm just me. Like, and I feel that you have to go in business being authentic, being mm -hmm. genuine, being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. And I feel that nobody can duplicate me. And even exactly. though I'm the face of my brand, I promote my brand, nobody can, can duplicate my sauce. And that's right. why I call it the secret sauce because you don't have to reinvent the wheel, but what you have to do is apply your own uniqueness to your brand and to your business and promote that to the best of your ability because yeah. God's yes. blessed us all with gifts and talents and our gifts may be similar but he's only made one of me and he's only made one right. of you yes, so yes. you know you have to be confident in your skills and ability in which I'm very confident I don't get intimidated mm -hmm. by competition mm -hmm. I stay focused on me That's because right. what you focus on grows so if you're focused on your competition they're going to continue to grow exactly. but if I focus on me and building my brand I I'm going to grow. That's a that message. That's, that's a yes guys that's a nugget right there. <laughs> yes. Come on put those blinders on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well let's get back into the secret sauce. Yes. You have created 
something called the Secret Sauce Academy. It's a yes. podcast and mentorship. Yes. So why was that so important for you to pay it forward, so to speak? Because I want to reach that girl that was me five years ago. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. just, you know, have have this idea, but really don't know like how to go from point A to point B. Like, what are the steps to get there? And so when I created the, the sauce method, I sat down and I literally like wrote down everything that I did to mm -hmm. start my business. And you know, I was like, okay, I need to study the market. I had to understand my gift. I had to have authority and build my audience. And when I came, wrote down all these little um, names, I came up with the acronym SAUCE. Like mm -hmm. seriously, it just came out of nowhere. And I'm like, this is the sauce. Yes. Right. So this is the method. And so I teach people like, how do you go from point A to point B with launching and scaling your business? Yes. And I started with the podcast, really just sharing tips and, you know, sharing my story just to reach people. And, you know, it's been doing really well. Like I went to London like a few weeks ago and mm -hmm. people in London were like, I love your podcast. Yes. And I was like, really? Wow. Because I was afraid to start it. So, mm. you know, you just got to start. And I just yes. want people really? to understand that when you, when you just start, like, you just live a much fulfilled, happier life mm -hmm. when you walk in your purpose. So for the people who are watching who are entrepreneurs and they want to start a business, what's one thing that you could say to them now to encourage them, while the people that are watching, to encourage them to, to go Go for the go for their dreams. So the first thing I would say is don't compare. Like you can't compare my journey to your journey. Like people look at me and say, "Oh, you blew up in five years," but you also don't know what I went through yeah, to yeah, get to right. the point where I am now. So everybody's journey is different, and you know you just got to stay focused yeah. and and have a passion for what you're doing because your passion is what's going to fuel you because yeah. you're not going to always make money. Like That's money right. can't That's be right. the reason right. why. Yes. You have to be passionate Especially about what you're the doing. Beginning. There are good ideas and good ideas are great, but there's a difference between a good idea. And a God idea. Ooh, Absolutely. Come on, yeah, Trina. Yeah. And on this good note, thank you, Monique, for, for, for being here. We'd love to have you here. And if you want more information on the Secret Sauce Academy, go to her website at moniquerodriguez.co. We'll be right back.